about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be like with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Here we are down at the boat show Cut water And yeah, a ranger tug We have the brand new Cut water 28.8 this is, I believe, hull number two, is what they said. There's a sticker for it. 326, as equipped. Like the blue lights. Look underneath, got the laminar flow, step pole. <clears throat> got the bow thruster. Bruce Claw anchor, way to get on and off the boat from the bow if you were to beach it. I really like those blue lights. It's kind of cool too. The, uh, something patented by Fluid and they do them on the Ranger truck as well. These little things right here, when you're walking on the side of the boat, keep your uh, feet on the side of the boat. Well, we're busier today. We were down here yesterday, which is Friday. Today is Saturday. A lot more people here today. We are walking onto the Cutwater 28.8. Brand new, 10 foot beam. This thing new. Walk around transom, barbecue grill done outside. Very nice, hoses all out of the way, no trip hazard. 500 horse on the back end. That one comes with a tiger. Oh, look at this sailboat. Plenty of storage, a couple of propane tanks for the, for the uh, galley. Live well. I love that seat. It'll go either face forward or it'll face aft. Or be vertical, be out of the way. That 10 foot beams, so much storage space. <clears throat> and this one has lithium iron, the lithium iron phosphate batteries. 600 amp hours to run the air conditioner. <clears throat> Lots of storage in the port lazarette. Let's see how much storage is in the center cockpit. Check that out.
Wow. Is this Northwest or... Uh, LE. Huh? This is the LE with the lithium batteries. So this could be actually going to him. Because he said he's supposed to get his in March. Uh, could be. I just overheard them say the earliest they would have one is October for somebody. Well, for anybody who hasn't got a pre-order. Correct. Yeah. If somebody wanted to buy a brand new Yeah, my, mine's in October. Or mine's in March, April. So hopefully at the end of April is when it's supposed to be. Then I'll, then I'll chase you around the sound. There we go. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and you're getting the Northwest edition without the lifting, right? Correct. Sorry to bug you. Oh, no, you're fine. I was just trying to get a walk to you. But uh, you're perfect. <clears throat> that I'm going to change. I'm going to switch from hydraulics to electrical. You need a DES? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, DES. I don't know that you can convert these to DES. According to power to be, yes. Let me know that info because I would be very interested. I was looking into what it would take. That would get rid of the Garmin autopilot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's less cable back there. Of course, for me, I still have them running across the floorboard. Well, when I was talking to the Sundance guys who were actually about the boat, they said it, it might be a hybrid where they have hydraulic that's run by. I, I want that uh, uh, joystick control. Right. And that. They may end up running individual hydraulic lines to the motor and they can do that. Well, the other thing is, is that you have to have enough clearance for the engine. They're probably too close together. If this guy went this way, he went that way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's one of the, the, the for the DES to go to the joystick, you just have to go in different directions. Yeah. So you have to have enough clearance and then you may not have enough room. No, it might. It'll be interesting to see what they do. But no, the, the new lower unit on the on the 300s and 250s where, the, where they, they take the exhaust above the prop, that would be a nice to have yeah. um, in addition to the uh, DDS. Cool. Very excited. So, do you want me to leave you alone while you No, 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 actually, I can walk through with you because you're the owner. Well, I'm one of them. You, you bought me. <laughs> There's not many of you. <laughs> well, I don't know how many boats have they got going around at this point. Well, they told me that the gel coat is just barely cured on this one. Yeah. <laughs> so where would they have the serial number on the boat? I was looking for it actually on the outside of the transom. I know that's where it is on the R27, but the way they have it, it's uh, they have to have one outside, and the the one inside would be probably where you couldn't get to it behind the batteries or something. Or back underneath this. One. Yeah. Um, I know on my R27, it's behind the battery, uh, the engine battery, which you can't get to, but outside the boat on the hull, you can. And they still don't have the rear rear helm. So this is supposed to be where the uh, cockpit helm station is. Are you getting that? Yeah. See, I was looking at this like you could do a pot puller right right through either of these. Well, you got one for here. No, like the pot puller, like a, an actual davit that I have. Yeah. You need one to give up one of those holes and it goes straight through the, the gunnels. And it looks like here that you'd be able to do that. Yeah. I don't like the pot pullers to hook up off of that. So, yeah. Um, theoretically, that's where it's supposed to go. So, uh, I don't have the sales thing in this one. Whether or not they put the hey, we love your channel. Oh, Thanks. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that boat, so that's why we oh. yeah. caught our eye. So we... I chatted you a little bit on the, the batteries. Oh, the yeah. Probably, quite a lot of people, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank yeah. you. Sweet. Got great information. Thank you. <laughs> Stay fun. Keep floating. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I love the 10-foot beam. Yeah, it's going to be much more fun pulling it. And I got a new truck on, on order for mm. it that is supposed to match the gel coat. So. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and that was just because I had a red truck and I wanted to change it. So yeah. I got a blue truck. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. I do like this. This is really nice, yeah. You don't think One thing I was thinking of doing, and I better not crawl up and find out, is you know how they have a solar panel in the center? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of actually moving it to two um, uh, flexible solar panels and, and mounting them on the top of these, mm -hmm. one on either side. And that way it'll free up all the space up front. Is this one a great one? Yeah. Huh? Uh, 
Well, it's got an extra spot on the mast for adding stuff, which is very nice. Yeah, because I have I have a plan to have stuff. Yeah, there's an extra platform up there for if you want to do a weather antenna, GPS antenna, LTE antenna, um, any of that stuff. My intent is actually to put a, a, a Starlink on this, but I, a, I don't know how big the antenna is, and B, I have no clue when the hell it's going to be built. Sorry, I'm just going to get in there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, struts too. Half the lithium batteries right there. Three of them. Okay. I wonder how the um, the uh, lead acid ones are going to be put in the same way. You think? Uh, probably, and there'll be less of them. You'll have more space. The lithium, there's there's supposedly six of them. I see three so far. Unless they go far in the back. It looks like there's some in the back. Sorry. Yeah. The red, if the, it's locked if you see the, uh, if you don't see the red cap. Yeah, what am I going to put the bait boxes in? They're not bait, but I mean the fish boxes in. Probably down here. Well, it's got a bait well right there. Yeah, that won't do a salmon very well. So. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you like a cooler or something to put them in. Yeah, that's a good size. Yeah, build a shelf to cover all that stuff there. You just dump it on top. Yeah, there's a little shelf to cover it. Cool. It's interesting because it's cockpit storage. I know, we, you know we've got a large opening because the engine's on the back of the boat, not right. here, uh -huh. which is nice. So it looks like. In the showroom, it looks like a lot of space. In practicality, we've actually found it to be not that useful. Because to open this, i got to clear the deck off. Yeah, there is. Right? And usually, I've got crab pots, shrimp pots, the dinghy, something on the back of it, that, that that's always in the way because it's such a large opening. Yeah, that was one other thing that I, I had a question, and they haven't been able to answer me yet. I'm sure they didn't really want us to do that. Actually, so it is all six lithium batteries are over in the over starboard, here. yeah. Well, there's batteries over here. This is going to be the, these are ATM. Oh, okay. So that's going to be engine starting and thruster batteries. They're all over here with lots of storage. Great spot for short power cord. Poses to flush the engine when you're done. I was assuming that they put another seat over here, but maybe it's, not. Now it's very similar to the R27 on that layout, having the seat on the port side and on the stern. So this is what interested me. Right here is this guy. Why is this plastic or fiberglass? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe design. I have no idea. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to pull people, you know, like with uh, tubes and. Uh, oh yeah. And I'm not sure how to do that on this boat. So if that could be drilled out and put a ski uh, pylon in. You'd probably, well, with the outboard, you'd probably need like a mini rack built on top of it. Or something? Yeah, something like a cage or roll bar or something for it. As you move forward, in reversible seating. There you, go. you can sit outside, inside, bigger aisleway. That's a convection oven slash microwave. Two burner propane. Stove in the galley, sink, cabin refrigerator. Very sweet. I always like the cut water goes the blue, blue courtesy lights. Ranger tug is orange, amber, I guess. They don't show that on the 
Yeah, the 27 comes with those too. Uh, wife never uses them. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, depending on what bot you have, they be uh, kind of in the way. Yeah, she found the, the See, more troublesome. Like the idea is sound, I guess. That's actually a pretty small drawer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The one under the stove. That's a, that's a good sign. Open the one under the stove, you'll have this. They did the same thing with the R27. Oh, that's good size. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you bury the bottom right there. <laughs> that's good. It's a convection oven microwave. Yeah, which is a little different. I'd almost prefer to have a, if they have a propane stove, they have a propane Well, say the Northwest Edition not having the lithium batteries, you would want an oven for yeah. propane. With the LE, then you'd want the convection oven. Where would they put the other TV? No, we already found the other one. You would want the TV. I don't know that you... Yeah. The only reason I would want the TV is, that, is if I was putting the chart plotter on that TV so you could see it when you were out there. Mm. That's what I was... You, but your chart plotter with a tablet, can you, you can have a tablet out here and have it be your chart plotter. Yeah, but you won't be able to see all your engine stuff. You can see that. You'll see everything. Oh, it, that? It's screen shares. Oh, cool. I do it all the time on mine. Yeah, well, that'll work. <laughs> so I just thought there would be, you know, that would be a good idea. But if you can do the uh, other one. Yeah. It looks like if I have a TV here, you'd want it for the dinette to be able to watch it, but the, the door's going to get in the way. Yeah. Cutwater 30, or, yeah, Cutwater 30, I know, has a TV for the dinette area. But, yeah. But no, with wireless on the Garmin chart plotter, you can, whatever's on that chart plotter screen, you can put on your phone or a tablet, and then you can operate it all remotely as well. I'm glad they have this kind of this thing. Mm -hmm. That would be the, the uh, most used uh, cup holders in the. Right, right, yeah. Cool. So, where the helm, helm lights are are either red or white, right? Um, or, I mean, up here. Yeah, those should be red chart lights. Yeah, yeah chart overhead. Those are red lights. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having another one of these, actually, I always thought it looked a little silly to have that whole thing open. The Cutwater 30 is the same way. Alan, when he bought his Cutwater 30 with the inboard, it was the same. It was almost a similar layout, and he bought the two screens. It just looks funny with the one screen. Yeah. And if I could have two screens, I would have opted for two. I, is, yours has the double helm seat. I'm the flip, so I have a double wide helm seat. I hate to tell you this, but I prefer to have a, a single helm mm -hmm. seat. I prefer the double. My dog sits next to me when we drive. Yeah, I don't have a dog. <laughs> and getting my cat in here to and actually stay on the boat, yeah, not like it. Yeah. The other thing that, that we like to talk about layout, because that's a really good point, is um, we like the the layout that gives me the helm that lines up with the window in the back, all on the, the starboard side. Because mm -hmm. that way, when we're fishing, I open up the I open up the window out here. Wife and I can talk back and forth through there. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our last boat, we did all the all our crabbing on the port side with the driver on the starboard side. So when the driver is approaching the pots, they're always on the blind side of the boat, which is always more challenging. Well, that's one of the reasons why I want to have a home station. Yeah, home station would make it nice too. Yeah. Even though I know all this stuff is on the website. <laughs> yeah. And it came, too. You could actually uh, up under here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. And I'm going to wipe out all of the bee. Pops up. Oh. Very deep in the cave. You can definitely sleep a, an adult under here. This is a 
of hanging storage. There's a TV. Yeah. The head, the door goes inside, which is kind of cool. Really big head. Nice sink. Shower. Behind the helm, very nicely done. All ABYC standards. Cables are labeled, nice and neat, secured. And the cabinet storage. So this has a TV here, and there's supposed to be a TV back up there. Yeah, you'd have to come over the cover, huh? Mm. See it? Nope, there's only one TV, that one right there. Yeah, the same way on the, if you look at the specs, it calls for two TVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so who knows where the hell it's at. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of room in here. Cool. I wonder if so. That head's actually a pretty good size. The head is huge. Yeah, I was uh, really impressed with that. I kind of I like this too. It'll keep it li a little bit lighter mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, the R27 has that, which I really like. Even our home box I put on top of it kind of sh shadows it, but it's still got enough light in there. Yeah, this is definitely there's, there's actually a USB thing there. Another USB port up there. Yep, right around the corner. And I don't know if there's anything in here. There's a 110. No coffee maker? No. I don't know why they don't have that. Yeah, we love our coffee maker. Is it a 12 volt or 110? It's 110. We turn it on every morning. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah that, that 10 foot beam really opens up that bathroom. And ours is a good size too, but this is bigger than ours by far. And how much storage do you have? Usually they have a, uh, a cushion and then there's a, uh, you know, uh, another thing you lift up. This mm -hmm. has a cushion and the the uh, backer plate all in one shot. Oh. So, see? Oh, yeah, it's interesting. It's different. It's not mm -hmm. what I was expecting. Mm hmm. Isn't that the wiring behind the helm? All ABYC standards, waterproof connections, everything's labeled. Neat and clean, easy to get to. Oh, that's interesting. What the hell is that? Is that a bilge pump? If it is, it's a bow thruster, the... probably. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I'd expect a bow thruster to be up there. Yep, it is. You got a fair amount of uh, storage space. Though. Cool. I actually like all the fiberglass up here because if you want to. Yeah, you accessories you can use suction cups and stick them to them, or even you know the 3M, you know um, tape, yeah, tape and kind of stuff, and it just makes it so you don't have to drill into it as much. And we can remove it. No, none of what you call rat fur, right? Yeah. Actually, this doesn't have any that I can see. You want the rat fur? Mm hmm. Now in the. Uh, the the bower actually hatches, so you would pop open and hatches, you don't run when the boat's underway. Oh, here? Yeah, but yeah. up here, they did them as sliders. Yeah. So you can slide them back and uh, slide them back and forth. That way you can actually have the, the ceiling, uh, the rooftop down, right? Get yeah. the windows open. I think you get a lot of airflow. Mm-hmm. Put the helm, standard switches, anchor, windlass, 
overhead lights, bilge pumps, shark plotter, autopilot, Yamaha controls. Yep. But we went out on a, a, a 27 outboard the other day. Yeah, loved it. It was pretty nice. It was tight. Twin throttle controls. That's a very nice Lenko auto tab or uh, Lenko um, trim tabs. You obviously, do the auto glide for that. Bow thruster. This was kind of cool too. The uh, these windows slide open and closed instead of being hatches so that they can you can keep them open while you're running. I got on a 30 all the time. I think this will work. <laughs> you're gonna get a second display. It's already on order. Yeah. It would look weird without the second display. The other, what, the other thing that I'm trying to figure out is if I put the, the joystick control. Where does it go? <laughs> so, you know, look at this pull this guy out and put him up here somewhere. Potentially. Yes. This is just like a. And the other thing that I haven't found is a whole lot of uh, um, USB connectors or power connectors in here. You know, that is a good question. I mean, I'm just curious where the hell they're going to put them. Right. Because there's not, not over here. I didn't see any. It's not that I mind, but isn't that kind of important these days? You'd never survive on this boat, dude. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would be challenged without a place to plug my. Oh, they do have more cups. Oh, there's one right up there. Okay. Yeah, you got one right USB connector right there. Still haven't found one over here. There's got to be one over by the. You would think. Yeah. I think I can outrun you out on the Puget Sound? Oh, absolutely, in this boat. <laughs> yeah. No, I asked the uh, Pocky Yachts when they were doing the, the videos out of Florida. Yeah. I was messaging with them. And uh, it's got the same performance characteristics as the Cutwater 32. The cruise is like 35 ish, yeah. and wide open is about 50, a little over. Yeah. Um, the, one of the guys uh, sent me a photograph of the Yamaha controller running at 51 miles an hour. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I maxed out at 40, 40 miles an hour, yeah. 35 knots. So, I can outrun you. Then. Yeah, cool. oh, easily. <laughs> now, now the question is, could you outlast me? Um, how, many, how many gallons do you have on yours? Uh, 147. Oh, so this has 200. <laughs> so you'd probably go farther. Potentially. Um, yeah, you have a little bit more weight, but you also have a little bit more fuel. I would guess range to be very similar between them, actually. Could be. So yeah, I don't. You'll spend more at the pump than I will, but oh yeah, but not, yeah. not by a whole lot. Oh, did you ever do your um, uh, test on the Yamaha? I have not yet. It is on my list to do it, and I will, I will get back to you. I haven't had the boat out. Oh, I you mean after you get everything thought out? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we did, but uh, uh, we, we, well, not twice. But I haven't had a chance to do the troll thing yet. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how well that works. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if I used two motors or one during that period. Probably one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've heard, I've heard some motors of the Cutwater 32s will just run one engine on one trip, like they'll go out on one motor and come back on the other. And the stuff they don't have to actually run both at the same time. Yeah, unless you're going really fast, it probably won't make any difference. Yeah, but running the two motors, the nice thing is, is the auto glide will help you get on plane quicker, but you won't have the port list that, that yeah. all of us single engines do. And every time I go to get up on plane, that boat wants to twist the port because the standard rotation, you won't have that. Yeah, because it is rotating on either side. Right, they're opposite rotations, so that'll cancel each other out. So, yeah, like I said, I've got a few things. So, I'm, I've got that. The auto light doesn't come in, but uh, I think that's going to have to be an aftermarket thing. It is. The factory won't do them. Yeah. I've heard that from many folks. So, I intend to uh, change that one at some point. And I've also heard that uh, auto glide is uh, hard to come by right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. like back order to oblivion. It's not a. Uh, it's not a necessity. It's a nice thing. Oh, it's a necessity. Well, a bit. <laughs> <laughs>
It's got it's got a downrigger of pads and plugs all set up for fishing. Stereo system. Really like this back seat. It opens up the cockpit. Tons of tons of seating up here for guests while you're talking. Or you can move the seat the other direction and face stern. Well, you have a place to sit down while you're cooking dinner. So looking back here outside the boat on the twin, twin 250s, 500 horse total. The nice thing about the Yamaha 250s is they're the same motor as the 300. It's the 4.2 liter V6. So it's the same alternator in the 250s that the 300 has. 70 amp alternator. Um, <clears throat> they don't put out 70 amps, but they certainly put out about 45 to 50 times two. Gives you plenty of plenty of power to recharge those lithium batteries. And with 600 amp hours, the uh, <clears throat> compared against what I do in my R27, my boat uses about 55 amp hours a day without us on it. You add us to the boat, and we're up to about a 110, 120 amp hours a day we use. <clears throat> so if I had 600 amp hours of lithium battery, um, 500 of that's probably usable. 100 is for the boat, so that'll leave you 400 left to use for air conditioning. And the air conditioner is going to pull about 65 amps an hour every hour that it's running. <clears throat> so pretty good runtime, and having the two engines to put that uh, those amps back in would be uh, really appreciated. If I look up top, plenty of room for more solar panels too. This is actually a really cool feature right here. The hatches slide, which means you can have them open while you're actually underway cruising. The hatches, when they pop up, if they're if you have them latched while they're up um, and you hit waves and bump up and, and it bumps up and down, the hatches will fall. So that's actually a nice option to be able to run with the windows open. Got radar, little UFO looking thing is the uh, TV antenna. And it's actually got one other spot to mount something else on the, uh, the mast, which is kind of cool. If you want to do an external GPS antenna, weather antenna, uh, maybe an LTE router antenna. Got nice big windshield wipers on the front. Very nice line to the boat. It's got a windlass, Lumar anchor, control, controls up here. Super cool boat. Wish I could collect them all. <clears throat> One of the things that's cool I really like about Coast Motion is like you get this narrow walkway to walk on. So they patented, I don't know what the heck they call them, it's the way to keep your keep your foot inside so as you keep your toes inside the boat so that way you don't slip off the edge of the boat. And we spend a lot of time walking up and back and forth on the side of the boat to get the anchor. And plenty of grab rails up top as you walk on the side of the boat.
Oh, look at look at how much space is right here. I can take off my shoes. But I nope, I'm just I'm just illustrating. That's a that's a patented thing that Fluid Motion came up with to keep yeah. your toes angled in so you don't slip and fall off the boat. I love that. <laughs> so look at how much space you can put that full solar panel right here. Yeah. And if you did one of the flexible ones, you wouldn't even be able to see it. Mm -mm. And you get just as much power and the electrical is coming out in the right general direction. Yeah. And even when you have the mass folded down, I don't think it would interfere. I mean, if you put a flexible one down, they're only, what, about an eighth an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch thick. The flexible ones are super, the ones you can walk on. Yeah. yeah. They got some really nice ones out of there. That is much capacity as this thing. Really like those sliding windows. That way you can have those windows open when you're out cruising up on plane. The factory solar panels usually um, are about 160-ish watts. Um, you can figure you'll probably get 40 to 50 amps a day, um, half hours a day. There's another question for you. Mm -hmm. They say there's a concealed um, um, bow boarding ladder. Do you see one? Um, I saw it on the below, I thought. There? No, maybe not. You could actually add more road and chain to that locker. Does it go all the way over to this side? Um, somewhat. Not all the way over, but yeah. Because I thought, when looking at the pictures, I thought this would be the, uh, the uh, ladder because you could have the ladder coming out those holes. But yeah, I don't see that. Right Unless it's coming out from underneath the uh, from the bow. I'll, I'll have to look again from the, from the doctor. Probably throw a sun pattern too out here. Mm -hmm. I don't think the, those windows look like they're pretty strong. So they do have a horn on this thing, according to the thing. They, they have, have to, they have to have a horn. They have a work I saw a button for it. There is a horn. That's a good question. Huh? That's a good question. I don't see a horn, but it has <laughs> to have one. Is it is it a, a law or not? It is. Coast Guard safety inspection, you'll fail if you don't have a sounding device. You need it for fog, you need it for alerting other, other boats. So where would they put it? I don't see it on the map. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a I get a feeling that it will be a chip on my <laughs> Not because I need it, but because I want it. This will be pretty fun. Draw water wash down in the corner there. You know, there's no freshwater shower on this one either. No transom shower. Yeah, and there's no one. transom sink. Watch out behind you. You got this really cool seat instead. <laughs> Aha, they do uh, have one. Yep. Transom shower. You want, to, want me to open that a little yeah. bit longer for you? Yeah. Hot and, cold. Hot and cold water. Yep. That's great when you bring the dogs on the boat. I think I want to avoid that. How big is this guy? That's a big, big well. May you have better luck. Thank you. Electric grill. Mm. 
So I'm gonna state the obvious. It's an electric grill with propane right there. You're outside, nowhere for propane really to settle in the boat. It'd been nice if that was a propane grill. But with the lithium battery bank, you can certainly run the electric grill off the lithium battery bank. I actually like the carpet on the flooring. He didn't like it. Is it a different kind than what you have? Uh, we don't have carpet in ours. We put a runner in. <laughs> it's uh, softer on the feet. Oh. But yeah, definitely I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here with, uh, that's an aftermarket thing that I'm gonna be putting around with the, the uh, joystick control. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, um, I, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to leave the Garmin autopilot or put in the Yamaha auto, autopilot. Well, I mean, if you get rid of hydraulics and you have, then there's nothing for Garmin to work with. Um, it can still do it electronically, I think. The other thing is this, this will have to go away too. And that's part of the hydraulics. Oh, the hydraulic steering. Yeah. That's, some, that's a new feature that I've heard Rangers done. I don't have hydraulic steering, it's manual. It's easy enough to steer, but uh, I've heard on some of their boats they'll do the, um, call it power steering, I guess, instead of autopilot, because it's, it, it's easier to track with the boat. But mm -hmm. I like the autopilot because I don't have to be at the helm all the time. I just got to pay attention all the time. But Right. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd never own a boat without autopilot again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, considering I came up here from Portland, autopilot works really well. Yeah. Ninety percent of our drive in our boat is in auto autopilot. So. The red one's that red. I like red. But those are not red. Those are still white. They're not part of those lights. Push button. I think there's a switch right down there. Yeah. No, on the other side of the seat. Oh. Oh, that's, for the, that's for the bigger lights. It's the cabin lights, and these are small dinette lights. It's nice if there's two of them, one will reach down there. Yeah, our 27, we have these little pop up, one on each side of the boat, galley and the dinette. It'll work out good. Power management wise, it's interesting because the uh, the white lights use a lot less power than the amber lights do. And cut water, I don't think does. You don't have the amber lights inside. You just have the these white are, lights. These are all uh, LEDs too. The they are all LEDs. Yeah. Which will help a little bit. That's a nice thing. Yes. Are these inside? The outside. Blue ones? It's oh. outside courtesy lights. Oh, okay. Blue, blue. Yep. You see them before. Unless that. This is the first time you're actually on this boat, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I want one. Fortunately, it's not here yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I am curious to see where the, where they intend to put the TV at. Because it's on the spec sheet. If you read it, it says two, two TV slash DVD. Mm -hmm. So where's the second one go? I don't know. I don't see where they would put one. Hmm? I don't see where they would put one. I do not know. What is that? Access port. <coughs> Probably for the antenna. Or yeah. for the mast. Yeah, to get up to I wonder if the, what size is the burger that the... the 3,000. Well, no, that's what this one has. Um, is the Northwest Edition the same? Um, I would I would assume it to be a 2,000 if it doesn't have the lifting down. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Which that's I would kind of prefer to have the 3. Yeah, 
that would give you also, I think on this one they have a 70 amp charger. 60. This one's a little higher. No, so 60 amp, but what I've noticed on the when I talk about lithium batteries is I've got the schematic, Andrew Clark sent it to me, as well as the uh, light up that they did on the lithium. Uh -huh. And I've seen that set up on LR28, the 24.8 over there, which is also brand new for this year. Uh, same exact setup. Um, so it's 3,000 watt inverter, 600 amp hours of lithium on iron phosphate batteries with Dakota batteries. Oh, I have uh, two of the uh, the uh, lit or the uh, batteries that you put on your boat. Fireflies. Yeah, I have two of them in my trailer waiting for the boat. I had to find find a place to store them somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, they're they're sold out of the country everywhere. I think, I think they want us to get that out of the way. <laughs> So when did, when did you order your boat? June. You sight unseen off of a sketch, right? Yeah, well, yes and no. So I put in five grand. That's all so far. And it's fully refundable. Mm -hmm. So if I don't like it, I get my money back. Oh. So it was like, if you don't, if you don't ask for it way back then, you won't get it. Right. So uh, that's why I did it way I did it. I don't know if, if or when my build date actually is. They, they was marked and then they moved it out to April. But whether that means that they're going to get farther out, I don't know. But yeah, they're still a little bit interested. Um, I mean, I really wanted a 26, but they don't make them. No, they don't. Oh, gotcha. 24, so this a hair small for four Four people, it would be crowded. Yeah. Uh, this one, four to six people would be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really pen. Uh, at 26, I was a little bit annoyed that they went to a beam. It makes a better boat, but it's harder to pull. Right. Uh, so it makes trailering a little more challenging because it's a little bit wider. Yeah, I have a. Uh, like I said, I have renewed uh, that awesome. Ram 2500 on order for this. Yes, that will be renewed for this guy. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's what this one can't be the one that's going to the guy over in, in Maryland, I think it was. I think it's blue. He ordered gray. These are just storage areas. So you have mostly batteries on the outside and the center. Come on in. We're just check out the cool boats. <laughs> So all six of them must be over here? All six of them are there. I could see more in the back as well. Okay. Yeah. For some reason I was saying the other side, but the 20, the Cutwater 248 has the uh, three on each side. Uh, just, is 248 a new one? The 248 right there. Yeah, that boat right over there is brand new also. I didn't know they were having that one coming out. I didn't either. I was just, but it, it's actually cool. It's, um, it's got, Yep, it's got the V berth of like the R23, yeah. and it's got the cockpit of like the R27. It's, they've got, there's a bait well, there's a grill, there's a sink on the stern. Yeah, that's pretty close to what I would have wanted if I. Well, no, it's still it's still it's, it's still a 24 foot boat. It is small. Yeah, you know, and that's my opinion. I really think the 20 27 28 foot boat is like the sweet spot for three four people, you know, five or six on occasion. Yeah, this will be fine. I'm usually on the 30 with my buddies. I will hopefully get mine. Where are you going? All over the same ones. Grew up in South South. A lot more people were here yesterday, and it was much quieter. Oh, okay. Which is good. Very cool boat. My dad likes to grab them. I was wondering. What do you use for if you're, if you're putting this thing stirring in? Where do you tie off at? I guess up there somewhere. For well, for your ropes. Oh, yeah, it'd be a case on the gunnels on top. Yeah. 
I like the wraparound transom, and then if you back into a dock, you don't want to worry about taking your engine out. Yeah. That I wish be, I had that. That can be a pain in the butt. Was this thing, you think they'll just? Mm. Uh, scuppers, probably. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's, a, that's the scuppers right there. Nice big trim tabs, too. gallons of gas, 41 gallons of water, 25 gallons of sand tank, 10 foot beam, 32 and a half foot overall with the engines down. There's your ladder. Yeah, right I just there. saw that. There's the hidden ladder right there, the board and on each the boat. Would this be the There's that's your horn. Yeah. There's the horn. Not as uh, obnoxious looking as the big trumpet that they used to put on, but oh, yeah, I was just hoping you could actually use it for a uh, speaker as well. But I don't think that's no. Well. The radio has to support that for being a, a hailer. Yeah. Um,